sister, sister, sister. If you are a bit like me where you have an actual real life sister, you don't look alike but there are similarities, then welcome to the world of sister sizing in bras. You may have heard about sister sizing and I am here to explain it all as simply as possible because I know that a lot of confusion comes from a system which was designed to help you get the right fitting bra and has turned into a complete muddle of confusion. Now, sister sizing relates to the fact that your cup is connected to your band it's size wise so if you say you are a b cup for example that's not giving me any information if you were a 34 b and went up to a 36 b you have gone up a band and up a cup size so therefore you know a 36b is bigger than a 34b yet you are both b cups for a starting point if you were to try on a bra and you measured a 34 around your underband 36 round the fullest part of your breast that's a two inch difference and it was designed so for every inch your boobs project from your rib cage, that's a cup size. So for the two inches, it would be A, B, so you'd be a B cup, so you'd be wearing a 34B. Now you might put that 34B on and go, yep, great. Or you might put it on and go, it is too big round the back, but the cups are fitting beautifully. This is where sister sizing comes into play. There are certain cups within the size range that are all the same volume. So for example, if you were to look at the table and there's your 34B diagonally, you see that a 32C is the same cup volume, but a smaller back. What this is telling you that women can have the same cup size volume but it's then projected along a different back. So a 30D going along that table would be the same as a 34B. To explain the simplicity of sister sizing, I have got a tape measure here. And if I was to say measure out 20, say this is going around the fullest part of your um breast and therefore that's your indicates your cup size b so we are going to view this as the volume of the area not not the circumference so let's just say there is 20 volume and this would represent say a 34b obviously this size is not going to be a 34b but i am just showing you for an example so if this represented the body shape if i squash the tape measure down this would indicate a wider back, smaller cups, but the volume is still the same if I pushed it this way, which indicated a smaller back and bigger boobs. The volume of your body has not changed, therefore this is why a 34B can be a 32C. The volume of your cups has not changed, you are just reducing the back. And because you reduce the back, you have to go up in the cup to keep the volume the same. You have to view it where you reduce one, you increase the other. The cup size and the band are linked, they're not two separate things, they're not two separate anomalies which you can go oh, i'll keep one the same but i'll increase the other when you wear a bra which is right in the cuffs but too big in the back what tends to happen is you're wearing them under your armpits because you've got that like flat volume when you decrease the back with this being the back and increase the front you've got the same volume but you're just pushing the breast tissue forward into the cups 
and then having the underband tight to the back to give the bra support or to give the boob support. Your bra doesn't need support, your bra is the support. It may be easier to, when you're trying to get your head around this, just remember if you're going down a back, you're going up a cup and vice versa. If you are thinking there must be a better way to size a bra, you're probably right. It was designed to reduce the amount of bras a manufacturer has to make, to reduce the amount of underwires that you have to produce to get that size bra. The same underwire is used in a 34B, a 32C and a 30D. One underwire, one volume cup. All the manufacturer is doing is adding different wings to allow you to have that cup on and then to allow it to go increase the back or to decrease the back. And I think that's something which is not explained properly in bra design for you to understand what bra cup you need or what back. If you are still like, I have absolutely no idea what you are talking about, Laurie. I have done a blog about this and I've also done like some visuals as well, having bras as square blocks to try to help you understand or even drop me a message with any questions you have and I will be able to answer them all for you so you get a full understanding of it all and hopefully you get your most delicious fitted bra ever or if you're designing it all you get to design a bra which will be made perfectly for you. I have a website vanyonsendesign.com where I tell you all about laundry design from different angles in books in courses and there's lots of free resources there so please do go on over if you want to learn more about laundry design.